Welcome to the Deft Film Podcast. My name is Xander Monge. I'm here with Spencer Booth. And today we're going to be talking about doing things alone and the advantages to them because there is and then the disadvantages that comes with it because there's also a lot of those. But how to overcome those disadvantages and why those are actually good things. We both experienced doing things alone. And like by that, I mean, I like work alone. Spencer lived alone, not in his own house, like in like the beginning of college, like when you don't know a lot of people and you like go in. Yeah, in a dorm in college. <coughs> I'm also sort of more on my own now because I'm back from college and I'm taking a gap year in between my freshman and sophomore years, which is very unique in a sense. Not a lot of people do that. But I needed a break and I needed time for myself to just get away and think about life on my own and how to actually lead a successful life. When you first went to college, there's like the whole process of like, you spent four years in high school making like these like really good friends. We built a pretty strong bond, all of us. Yeah, we did. And we even help each other with like current work, like all of that stuff. But then you go to school and this applies to like a lot of stuff, but like then basically you're in one place and then you leave that one place and then you're like in a completely new environment. You don't know anybody and you just kind of, it's like restarting everything. It is. Uh, everyone experiences this at some point in their lives, whether it's going from middle school to high school or high school to college or even trading, like switching jobs later in life. Uh, when you go from a new job and uh, from your old job where you know everybody and you know all your coworkers to a completely new environment where you know literally nobody, it can feel very isolating and like you're alone. What'd you do like when you first moved in? Because that's like a thing that I noticed. I didn't go to school, but I noticed like all my friends who did in like the first months, I guess like the first two months that they went, there's like one thing, they get sick. <laughs> and <laughs> then like sick. the other <laughs> thing is... Like, a lot of them were, like, sadder than they usually were. Um, well, I, th I think that's for like a mixture of different we reasons, first of all, because most kids have never lived away from home and their parents and kind of had a support system their entire lives, more or less. They've always been in the same place or a very similar place and always <laughs> had their parents to help them out if they have any troubles or anything. And then you just go to being completely living on your own. I mean, you still do have assistance from, you know, meal plans and stuff like that. So the university does help you out. But you're in a completely new environment with new people. You normally just have a roommate that you've never met before in your entire life. Um, and you just go to living with people you've never met <clears throat> in a completely different environment, sometimes states away. And it's just throws Which, you off at first. What got thrown off, if anything? Well, you just feel isolated from your old life. You feel like you're in a, someone else's life almost because it's just so different. Um, the environment around you, you've never, I mean, before uh, college, I was never only around people my own age all the time, 24 seven. It's like kind of like a re reality TV show where you just move into a house with a bunch of random people you've never met before. And you just have to f all figure out how to survive on your own and work together and live together and make a community and at first it's really jarring because since you know nobody there you have no close connections all your closest friends are miles away hundreds or thousands of miles away your family is far away you really just do feel alone at first but if you're if you can somehow find people that are like-minded and have the same uh ideals as you did you find those people or no I did. I found I found a great group of friends in college. Um, basically, all you have to do is just put yourself out there and just talk to people. Like on my first day, I just walked down the hallway. I just said hi to everyone I saw, introduced myself, uh, asked people if they wanted to come play video games in my room or something later, or go play some soccer. Um, and eventually, even over the course of the first five days, I had a solid friend group who I'd eat lunch with and we'd hang out after class and watch Netflix or something. Did any of it feel forced? It does feel for forced at first because it is forced. I mean, yeah, everyone's going through the same thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're all, they all want to make friends. Well, it's, it's like <clears throat> the first day of high school, when you go to high school, 
and you kind of walk into the cafeteria at lunch and you see nobody you know and you're just like oh my god I'm so alone where am I gonna sit am I gonna sit at the cool kids table am I gonna you know find one of my friends that I know that goes here I don't I don't even know where I'm doing it's just kind of overwhelming but especially in college the more you realize the more you go and uh the longer you're there you realize that honestly just find people that are like you and you have a good time with well would you say that like this is guaranteed because that's what i would say like i have friends again because i had friends who are <clears throat> who are a year younger so i have friends who are like going into college this year for the first time and a lot of them like basically all of them are talking about like how they're like mm. like they're saying that they're not going to make friends like at all like you're saying that you went in like the hallway and like talked to people that's something i like talking to people but there's a lot of people who like don't would you say that it's a guaranteed success that you'll find like a group that you'll be in or is there something do you always have to do something or is it natural i think it's natural it's it's, it's a bit of both <laughs> because i mean if you do just sit in your if you just go to class and then go right back to your room and just sit in your room and do homework and watch Netflix Even all day. Even then, like, if that's your life, I feel like you make class friends. <laughs> that's like, true. I mean, honestly, <coughs> I didn't even make that many friends in class. Just because, I don't know, at least at least I was there for the academics when I was in class. I wasn't really there to socialize. It, I'm kind of weird on that. I actually like going to class mm -hmm. and paying attention. And so I focused on my classes and... Um, <clears throat> really paid attention to the lectures and such and so I didn't really socialize with any kids sitting next to me um and it was more just I made friends with people in my dorm because I saw them all the time I saw them every single day you know in the bathroom in the shower um also if you go to the gym a lot you make friends there just because you see them a bunch <laughs> and if you go to the cafeteria honestly you can make friends there too it's, it's, it's just all about how I you do like it it's just people it's, do it different ways yeah I feel like if anyone's nervous about and right now we're talking specifically about school i feel like if anyone's nervous about making friends when i say be out there and when he says be out there i think it literally means be out there when i was like more like quiet in like the beginning of high school and like middle school and stuff <clears throat> i would literally just like join the sports team that i liked it wasn't just me joining because i wanted to like meet people i like joined a group that i liked and by group i mean like the activity and like I was still quiet, but I still made friends. Yeah, exactly. Like I think it literally is the act of like going out there and like that putting yourself out there. Because then there's a, then there's the people like what Spencer was saying. There's the people who went out there to go talk to you. So like, even if you like are scared to like approach, just being out there is like how it all gets started. Like yeah, and joining I, stuff that you usually did. So if you usually went to the gym, join the gym, and like the person at the desk might become your friend like just naturally yeah stuff like that just do what you're interested in because uh some of uh, my friends like some of their best friends they met at different club meetings and stuff just because they were interested in the same things so you if you just do what you normally want to do in life you'll find people that are doing the same things as you and you'll bond with them i think the most important thing is it, it takes time it does take time it takes a lot of time <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's so like demotivating because I think it take it does take like a good like two months to like find like a solid group. Once it calms down and people are there doing specifically for their classes and they're there specifically for their normal routine, then like people with similar routines, like that's when you start like, but that takes a long time. It does. It does. Like, so I guess you don't get, don't get sad. <laughs> don't get sad. <laughs> yeah, that's my advice for all incoming freshmen in college. Don't get sad. I want to like touch on every person that could possibly feel alone right now so there's like the college people and then there's like the people that are like actually either moved in alone or like something like that exactly so like well because just living alone <clears throat> by yourself too not a lot of people have i mean done that before either college or after college because even when you go to college you have roommates yeah normally. you <clears throat> and before that you you know lived with your parents or like a grandmother and family member or something um and then to go completely living on your own is kind of terrifying. I mean, um, we saw I saw this with my friend Sophie uh, in Montreal, who I visited uh, last month, and um, she was just had just moved into her first apartment. And granted, she had roommates, but they weren't there yet, so she was on her own for two weeks before they moved in. 
And um, yeah. I went to go live with her and she didn't have any food or pots or pans or literally anything <laughs> in her apartment. Because it's stuff that you're used to just being there. Exactly. Like, usually. We went grocery shopping <clears throat> with her and I think our shopping cart consisted of a thing of pasta, some Alfredo sauce and a bottle of wine. Dude. <laughs> Yeah, and it and it like probably went like over budget. <laughs> it was a hundred dollars. When you see like your mom shop, she they they come home with like a million things, and their receipts like two hundred bucks. Yeah, and like when I go, I get like three things, and it's like it's like the same price or more. Exactly. Yeah. So like I don't know if it's the same, but like I can say that I've traveled alone. You look at like the benefits of it, and the benefits are like the freedom. That is the best part, <clears throat> honestly, of just. Being by yourself, because um, I'm I'm home alone probably uh, every other week uh, because my parents either go um, on work trips or they go on vacation. And honestly, it's kind of nice to just have your own freedom to do whatever you want for a bit. After a day, honestly, I do get really lonely and I just end up inviting people over every day until. Oh, yeah, that's also back. like an option. It's not like a it's yeah. not like a you have to be alone thing. Exactly. But if, if you're feeling it lonely, is. just reach out to people you know? yeah like um, and when i say unless it is it's like if you moved out of town if you moved out of town that's but a then whole different but story. then all that applies is like doing what we talked about that you do in college mm -hmm. you you like go out and like do your routine and you meet people we're in the cic building now i used to work in my house and like even just coming here i was like lonely at first because it was just me but like i work from 12 25 to 10 55 p.m it's like the time to like improve on stuff that you never got to improve on. Like I get so much stuff done. It's like, I'm not saying friends are distractions because they're definitely, they're not, but like. They can it, be sometimes. Yeah, but like it gives me less distractions. Like I was at my house and like, I would, these are good things. I would get distracted by like my family, which is good. But like, I wasn't like reaching certain like milestones I was trying to get. I think it's looking at like the good parts about it. And I'm not like some guru. But like that's all that's like what I do now and like maybe I haven't been punched in the face enough but like that's what <laughs> I do now and like I'm happy like I just like I've been in situations where everyone left and I was alone. Yeah, so I'm, like, I'm in that situation right yeah, now. Yeah, and like weird. Spencer you're at BC uh now you're in a gap year. So like you just experienced what I experienced last year of like everyone you know from Providence like leaving to do their thing and then like you're like oh shoot now i'm alone until summer but like <clears throat> until december for yeah and then three weeks yeah so that's the thing like i was sad definitely be for like two months but then like again i found out a routine i found out who was Routine's still here key. yeah i found out that is key i guess like i did my normal routine i found out who was still here and i like I spent time with family and if my family wasn't there, let's we can scrap that. You're like, hey, what if what if my family is not fucking here? I still had goals I wanted to reach, so I just put time into those. Yeah. That's what I'm doing like, now. I I yeah. feel lonely. I mean, you're one of like three friends I have here right now. Yep. And again, you work all the time. <laughs> yeah. And uh uh right now I'm just uh I'm trying to just make enough money so that eventually in February, I'm planning on just traveling around the world for as long as I can for three or four months. And honestly, just go have a bit of fun before I go back to college and, you know, just yeah. see the world. Yeah, there's like so many good things about it. Like when I used to be with my friends, I would be thinking like, oh, I could like, I shouldn't be doing this. I should be like working and like, but then when I was working, I was like, I should be with friends. I think the goal is not to do that. But you can't save a bunch, a bunch of money and like travel when all when you're like surrounded by all your friends and you, if, when you're at school. Exactly. I'm not saying don't go to school. But <laughs> definitely go to school. Don't go to school, anybody. <laughs> College is a blast. Yeah. Trust me, you'll love it. Yeah, it's definitely fun. Yeah, you have to like that's, that's that's what I'm looking forward to the most, honestly, about traveling though is just being alone for a long period of time because I have been surrounded by people my entire life. I mean, for like the past 19 years, I pretty much haven't gotten a break from being around people and honestly I realized that it hasn't given me enough time to think about what I really want to do with my life because I've just always been busy I've just been doing schoolwork and friends and blah 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 and I've just never <coughs> actually had the time to sit down and think and be like who am I and 
what do I want to do and how do I want to lead a happy, successful life? And so I just want to go travel around the world and kind of figure that out for a bit and just feel what it's like to truly just be alone in a completely different environment than I'm used to. Yeah, I'm saying it now. It sounds basic what you're saying, but it's not because I did it it last year. (laughs) Well, no, I guess like that's what everyone says. They're like, I just got to get out there and like be alone and stuff. And it like... I know for a fact everyone who hears that is like that's like the most basic thing I ever heard that's just like cliche and like but like that's it's true <laughs> like people, people what don't, else are you gonna do people don't just like say it for no reason I think traveling around Europe and being alone after everyone left is like the best thing that's ever happened to me yeah but also like the it worst <laughs> yeah at first I was like fuck but then like after I was like wait you realize like, all the freedoms and like what you actually want to do. Yeah. And like at first I was even lonely there and then I stopped feeling lonely after. So like I feel like when I like live alone, I'll be like, this is easy. Yeah. <clears throat> Gets you ready for life later. Yeah. What would you say about people alone in relationships? What do you mean, not having being single? Or yeah, no, being alone, li- that makes no like sense. Living being, <laughs> <laughs> being alone in relationships. No, being, definition. like, not being in a relationship, basically. I mean, honestly. And we've both been in. We've both been in long term Yeah, long term And also long distance. Um, they both suck. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> what were the benefits of being in a relationship? Well, just always having someone to talk to, no matter what, pretty much about yeah. Because I don't want to lie; like this the whole thing isn't about be- why being alone is better. Oh, it's, it's like there. It's like it's just a different perspective. How to take a good approach on being alone? Being alone. Exactly. Yeah, it's not like and, and better. Not, being alone sounds so <laughs> lonely. <laughs> lonely. Not, not being, it just not being lonely. alone. More just like doing things by yourself. Yeah. You know, being more independent. And uh, oh, the, the chair goes up time. and down. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Oh. But um, I would say, yeah, being in a relationship is amazing if you're in a relationship with the right person, obviously. Um, because, yeah, again, you have someone to talk to all the time. Um, you know, being in love is great. makes you feel happy. Um, and you just always have someone to have fun with, and it's great. And they're kind of like your best friend for a little while. But also being single gives you just a bit of independence, especially at our ages. Because yeah, that, my dad says that. Like, yeah. <laughs> my dad's like, no, this is like the time to like, like have fun, and have fun just means like go to parties and like stuff <laughs> like that. It depends on like what type of person you are. Being out of it now, what benefits have you seen? Well, honestly, and again, I'm not saying don't be in a relationship. Like, no, no, you no, definitely should. You to, no, it. like you, you definitely should, should if because like Joseph. Oh, Joseph's so happy. Yeah, Joseph with Hannah, our friend, is like super happy and he was like one of those people who were like who was like basically into like hooking up yeah he was. but like and it's like that too. you he's yeah like, and he's, he's like, like nicer he's now nicer, <laughs> like better and like has like a job has a, <laughs> yeah he's like yeah really yeah like he's more mature so definitely. I'm definitely like there's better i guess the both. thing is don't force it yeah things do like don't force things relationship. do happen if you just take the opportunities for them to happen yeah like what i found is that People who haven't been <coughs> looking for relationships find better ones than people. Yeah, who, like Joseph. Yeah, like exactly. that's like exactly it. Like I know that's people, what happened with me too. Yeah, I know people. I never did it because, not because relationships are bad, but like for my like lifestyle right now, because I like work a bunch and like and basically when I'm not working, I'm traveling or like fucking around. <laughs> and I was like that since like junior year of high school, but like. That's when I like got in a relationship and like I wasn't forcing anything and that relationship was really good at first. Yeah. Obviously like stuff like Well that happens with that. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. But like at first, like it wasn't forced. It was like natural and it was like good. I'm not hating on either side. I'm talking about the benefits of both and the in the not benefits of both. Your cup's about to fall. But the not the not not ben- the disadvantages of the relationship is like and I don't know how to like not make it sound bad. It's just less freedom, and like that yeah. doesn't mean like less freedom to like, like do like like f around. <laughs> That's like less freedom, like just in because life. you have to invest time. <clears throat> like time, you have energy. to. Like I would hate to be in a relationship with someone and not give them time. Yeah, exactly. So like, and yeah, I mean, just in, at this point in my life, I just kind of need my own time to do my own thing. You know. Mm-hmm. 
But if you found it. But if I found it. Whatever. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Obviously. I think the. And like this is stuff my brother told me. This is stuff my mom has told me. All that stuff. Um, it's once you're in it. Don't. Uh, don't expect it to last forever, but also like try to make it last as long try, as possible. Try to do your best, but also don't force it. Yeah, for sure. yeah. Try to make it forcing. It's that's something the like worst thing you could do. That's something I did bad. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, so did I. So I'm saying that one not from like experience of doing it right. I'm saying you're from experience of doing it wrong. It's like when it's time to let it go, <clears> just let it go. Which is really hard. <laughs> Easier yeah. said than done. Benefits list: emotional benefits. You have someone to talk to. You just want to like do stuff with, do that with people like ride bikes, go on like bike paths, go on dates basically. It's just like a second you, you have support. Mm -hmm. But then there's the people who don't have that. And the people who don't have that, I'm not going to lie, disadvantages, you might feel lonely. You, you might do stuff like alone a lot, like go to places alone, do run your errands alone. Sometimes like people in relationships, like they help each other on like the same goal. So like, it's like... I guess it's like having a coworker too. Disadvantages, you don't have that stuff. But benefits of that. You get to be you and you get to figure out, you know. Yeah, you get to be you. You have a lot more time to yourself to become more self-aware. And I think, you, I think, I'm not going to like say I know, but like I think you have to be really self-aware at being in a good relationship. Definitely, definitely. So like it gives you more time to be more self-aware. Yeah, that's the type of people who are alone right now. We're just trying to give you a good perspective on each one. Just use that time to better yourself. Yeah. Honestly. <clears throat> that's what I'm doing. I think, and again, this is like what I've been doing for the past year. I guess actually like a, a longer time than that, but like even more every, like it, it got so much better. But like what I do is like there's disadvantages to everything. There's disadvantages to everything and there's advantages to everything. Only look at the advantages. <laughs> That's like all I do. Focus on the advantages. <laughs> like yeah. literally like so much. I don't even want to say like that's I don't even want to say bad stuff. Like because I've just been having that mindset. But so much quote unquote bad stuff has happened to me this year. Like friends, business, blah. But there's good stuff about it. So just keep a I positive think, mindset. And that's what I wrote down. Like when you're alone in something, you have people and things in other places for you mm -hmm. because it, i guess it's like a trade-off like you're closing one door and the other one's opening exactly basically you just gotta make sure you find the opening and actually take it i could just wallow in bed all day and literally do nothing for exactly. six months and just be Me depressed too. that no one's here but instead you know you're running a business i'm working on making a crap ton of money so that I can travel. Like, I'm just thinking about the future and just thinking about all my goals that I want to achieve because I really just do want to, like, my goal right now is to just go see the world and see other cultures and stuff and see how other people live because I've been in Rhode Island my whole life and I wouldn't get that experience if I just stayed here with all my friends and what I'm used to and I just want a better perspective of the world. I guess that's it. And once again, once again, this is our first <laughs> podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then um, once again, we'll, it, we'll get better at this. Yeah. And then once again, it, like everything's like falling. The door broke. <laughs> the door broke. The camera turned off like six yeah. times. <laughs> and then like the the microphone like <laughs> broke my eardrum. Yeah, I still can't hear out of my right ear. But uh. in all seriousness, I just want to say we're speaking on our experience, not on like, like this isn't me being like, this is how you do it. This is like... Cause I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Like this is just, I, I literally. We're also young and dumb and nice. Yeah, I was young. We have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> I was also young. So that, that's why I'm saying. We could both be homeless in 10 years from that's now. That's why like. I think, I think the value will, I think this podcast value will bring value to people younger than us because they're about to face what we went through. Exactly. And I think it brings value to people way older than us because it's entertaining seeing how young and dumb <laughs> we are. <laughs> yeah. People younger than us, just don't be afraid to, you know try for your goals and if that means being alone for a bit then do it honestly gives you some good perspective and time to think this is the deaf film podcast my name is xander Monge, and this is spencer booth peace peace <laughs>